my name is Sarah and today I'm here to talk about The Butchering Art by Lindsay Fitzharris. I might not do a ton of nonfiction book reviews on this channel, but this book more than deserves it. It's a biography of Joseph Lister who ended up revolutionizing Victoria era of medicine. And it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Even me who absolutely loves like grisly dark, like bad things happening and like watches graphic TV shows. This was a lot. This was, this was a lot to handle because Victorian era medicine was horrible. You realize how much more like even just the lay person today understands about medicine and germ, general cleanliness and like how infections start than even the most prominent surgeons in the Victorian era. Joseph Lister basically had this perfect storm of different things happening and like the right background to basically come in and realize that the very unsanitary and very grisly setup of Victorian era medicine was what was causing surgeries to be incredibly lethal at the time. <laughs> this book even makes a reference to a surgery that had a 300% mortality rate, meaning the patient, the surgeon, and the surgeon's assistant all died from the same surgery. Victorian era surgery was really considered to be about the same prestige as like a plumber or an electrician. Surgeons did not have any of the reverence that we have for them today because it was mostly a brutish type of profession. They didn't understand that germs came from uncleanly things and so surgeons would wear the same smock for hundreds of surgeries without ever washing it. And they would come straight from the morgue to go deliver a baby. Because you didn't have anesthetic until shortly before Joseph Lister's time, the main qualification for being a Victorian era surgeon was how fast you could get a leg off. One of the examples in this book, I think it was under 30 seconds. They had an entire surgery done in under 30 seconds. You have a patient who is feeling everything. And because gangrene and various other types of infections were so common during that time, a lot of times patients were better off just like not getting surgery for things that really required anything besides a like external level of treatment. This book is fairly well done. The writing's, the writing's very well done and makes the entire trip of learning about Joseph Lister's life very enjoyable. It makes learning about Joseph Lister and everything that happened to him on both a professional and a personal level very interesting and palatable. And it gives you a really good idea of what was happening during Victorian era medicine. Honestly, if you are a writer and want to make more realistic scenes surrounding medicine, I actually think this book would be really helpful. It gives a pretty good description of what it was like to be a patient back then, what it was like to be a surgeon back then and helps me just like overall realize that like the current value systems and like current knowledge that we have today, we take so much for granted because not all that long ago, whether you lived or died was a very different question. Something that would be considered basic, like getting an appendix removed. So really hats off to Lindsay Fitzharris. This was a wonderful read and I would really recommend it to anyone that has a strong stomach. If you enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing. If you read this book, I would love to talk about it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.